when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw every one, I will draw every one, I will draw every one to myself. In our night, O Lord, we come to you. In truth it is you who come to us. Open our hearts to hear your saving word. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone, I will draw everyone, I will draw everyone to myself. Draw us deeper, Lord, into rebirth, life in the Spirit from above. Open our eyes to Did you reign at God's right hand, that all who believe might have eternal life? When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace to you from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus, who laid down his life for our sins. And, and with you. your Spirit. Father of mercies, and God of all consolation, you do not wish the sinner to die, but to be converted and live. Come to the aid of your people, that they may turn from their sins and live for you alone. May we be attentive to your word. Confess our sins. Celebrate your forgiveness. And be always grateful for your loving kindness. Help us to live the truth in love and grow into the fullness of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Good evening, and welcome to our parish penance service in preparation for Easter. Pope Francis said recently, I know that many of you go to confession before Easter, Many will say to me, but Father, I can't leave the house, and I want to make my peace with the Lord. I want him to embrace me. How can I do that unless I find a priest? Do what the Catechism says. It's very clear. If you don't find a priest to go to confession, speak to God. He is your father. Tell him the truth. Lord, I did this, and this, and this. Pardon me. Ask his forgiveness.
Jesus with all your heart, with an act of contrition, and promise him afterwards I will go to confession. You will return to God's grace immediately. You yourself can draw near as the Catechism teaches to God's forgiveness without having a priest at hand. Keeping these words in mind, let us meditate this evening on God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us follow Jesus as he makes the way of the cross out of love for you and me and all. Let his love and mercy and peace embrace you here and now. So let us begin by hearing some words from the Gospel, from the Gospel of St. John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Eternal life. Is the expression of God's love for us. Love is its meaning. Love is what it is about. And when we look into the face of Christ crucified, we see there the face of love. So as we make this way of the cross, and as we place our lives, and our weakness, and our frailty, and our sinfulness before him, let us remember that we are judged, but we are judged by love. healing in his wounds. And trusting in that love, gratefully accept the gift of his healing and forgiveness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And listen also to some beautiful words of Jesus from the Gospel of John. When I am lifted up, when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. So Christ our Lord, is lifted up on the cross, like Moses lifting up the fiery serpent in the desert. Christ is lifted up on the cross and we gaze upon him and we receive his healing. And gazing upon Christ on the cross, we allow him to take the sting out of the poison of any sin within us. Let him take the sting out of the poison of our sin. And by his wounds we are healed. So in this service this evening, see 
see him looking at you. See him looking at you lovingly and humbly. See him looking at you with love. See him looking at you with humility. See how Jesus becomes your servant and slave. The one who washes your feet. The one who willingly dies the death of a slave out of love for you. So have no fear. Look at him. Look at him looking at you and notice the love in his look. Notice the humility. And with Christ our Lord looking at you looking at you lovingly and humbly from the cross. So now, let us examine our conscience. After each station, he will say, For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The first station Jesus is judged and condemned. For the times I have judged others harshly. For the times I have listened to or spread gossip and false statements about others. For the times I have condemned others without cause and without charity. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The second station, the cross is laid upon Jesus. For the times I have laid unnecessary burdens on the shoulders of others by neglecting my own responsibility. For the times I have burdened others 
with unfair expectations of them. For the times I have been a burden to others by my stubbornness or willfulness. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. For the times I have fallen in the sight of others through lewd or absurd, ab abusive behaviour. For the times I have fallen into the habit of neglecting my religious duties, going to Mass, praying and making confession. For the times I have fallen into habit which deny my Christian faith and morality. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourth station. Jesus is met by his mother. For the times we have taken our mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters and others for granted. For the ways we may have become estranged from family members through ancient arguments or unresolved tensions. For a grudging response to the needs of family members especially the elderly and infirm. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fifth station. The cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene. For an unwillingness to help others with their burdens. For a failure to pull our weight.
for a lack of willingness to take risks for the good of others. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us, us and on the whole world. The sixth station, Jesus meets Pharaoh. For our failure to see the face of Christ in others, especially the suffering and disadvantage. For a failure to minister to Christ in the hungry, the thirsty, the sick and needy. For a failure to welcome the stranger, the prisoner, and the outsider in the name of Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. For our frequent falls into the same patterns of sinfulness. For falling upon material pleasures at the expense of the spiritual. For falling into differency mode when others show us our failures. For the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The eighth station. The women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. For the ways we cause others pain and hurt by our behaviour. For failing to have sympathy with those who suffer. For ways we may have discriminated against minorities or ignored people we do not like. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have uh, mercy on us and on the whole world. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time.
for the weaknesses we fail to address and which cause us to fall into sin. For being a stumbling block to others who look up to us, for example. For our, char for our failure to be charitable in our giving or in sharing our gifts and talents. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. For an unwillingness to strip ourselves of masks and be true to ourselves. For any way in which we use pornography or disrespect the bodies of ourselves and others. For stripping others of their dignity by shaming or embarrassing them in the sight of others. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. For inflicting pain or shame on others. For any physical harm we may have caused others by carelessness, driving dangerously or by neglect of good practice common sense. For physical, verbal or emotional abuse we might have inflicted on others. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have and mercy on us and, and on the whole world. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. Let us pause for a moment in silence to consider how our sins made 
Jesus' sacrifice necessary. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. As Jesus is laid to rest in his mother's arms, let us share the mother's sorrow and entrust her with our prayers of forgiveness and contrition, that she may intercede for us with her son. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Jesus has taken our sins to the cross and died under their weight. As he awaits the hour of his resurrection, when God's power to conquer sin and death in his Son is proved, let us rejoice in the release from our sins he won for us as we confess and contemplate absolution, renewing the grace of our baptism through which we die to sin and rise to new life with Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us, and of the whole world. And let us say the Confidio together. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have been sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God of mercy, 
forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Karl Marvins reminds us that in the circumstances of the coronavirus, the obligation to our Easter duties, to go to confession and receive Holy Communion, is removed from us. Instead, we can make an act of perfect contrition to express our deep sorrow at our sins against the goodness of God. So let us do that now and say together, My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you, whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend, with your help, to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Saviour Jesus Christ suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. Did you reign at God's right hand? 